independence of an auditor. Independence of an auditor. Two things we are supposed to discuss here. The state of being free and being seen to be free from all factors that will influence your objectivity as an accountant. So we say independence will mean being free, being free, and being, being seen to be free. Being seen to be free. So when you are free and you are being seen to be free of influence, or we can say any event that is going to affect your what? Your objectivity. Then that event should be kept or you should be away from that kind of an event. So we say being free and being seen to be free of events and what? And activities that influences influences auditors sound judgment or objectivity auditors objectivity so you are a focused person but something comes by the way and that is going to be ruining perhaps your objectivity and we say now that is going to make your work in deep, not independent but it's going to compromise your independence so independence of an auditor is defined as a state of being a state of being free and being seen to be free of events that are likely to influence auditors' objectivity or auditors' sound judgment. So you cannot make a good judgment. If you pick this point, being free, and you pick this point, being seen to be free, they'll give you two types of what? Independence. The two types of independence or the two state or the two levels of independence are one, the state of being free, we call it independence of mind. Independence of mind and then we have this one being seen to be free we call that independence in appearance independence in appearance the way people are viewing you as an accountant so you have independence in appearance independence of mind independence of state independence of in appearance the way people sees you so you say if you can try as much as possible to avoid Avoid events and circumstances, circumstances whereby other third party, other people call that party, whereby that party would conclude, that party would conclude affects affects three things. One, objectivity. Affects item number two, integrity. And affects item number three, professional skepticism. Professional skepticism. So if you are an accountant and you want to be independent in appearance, we say then avoid circumstances that would influence all that other persons called that party would conclude negatively affects your objectivity, integrity, and professional skepticism. So if other people can go ahead and disclose that there is something that you took which is affecting your uh, objectivity, then we say you have not been independent in appearance. This one is a state of being free. Being free that allows an individual to make sound judgment without compromising, allowing or allowing an individual to make sound judgment without compromising compromising the same same things which is this objectivity integrity and professional skepticism so we say objectivity integrity 
and professional skepticism and professional skepticism so if you wanted to know the differences between this you realize that this one is something that nobody can define apart from yourself so as an accountant you're the only person who can tell us have you been independent if you have not been independent we can also look at it and see it when we see it we call that independence in appearance so if you can avoid events and circumstances that other people with all the safeguards maybe an information would conclude that affects your objectivity integrity and professional skepticism will say that you're independent in appearance if you can have a state of being free in such a way that you are making sound judgment without compromising your judgment or without compromising your objectivity, integrity, and professional skepticism, we call that independence in appearance. So we have two types of independence, independence of mind and independence in appearance. <laughs>